Hey you and welcome for this weekly uh, Magic Unicorn Guidance where I uh, transmit to you how I feel the energies and um, a little guidance to handle what's happening. Uh, basically, it's just to tell you, you're not alone. <laughs> we are all feeling the energy. So right now what's happening is very intense. It's been intense uh, for many weeks now. It's like a big, I call it the emotional tsunami, a big energetic wave that's flowing through us and that's moving everything in and out. So you may have felt and you may feel in and out, up and down, like your moods are just going and it's okay. It's okay. Um, you may feel as well very tired um, and it's okay. <laughs> I feel that too. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of energy and it's very extraordinary what we're living because it's um, with um, the virus. So all this energy is expressing itself in many ways. It's expressing itself inside of us very uniquely for everyone. And outside it's expressing as a virus and many other things. Just the virus is a big thing of now. And we are all together going through this this phase in our life, this extraordinary time, and this makes it very special because it's all of us. Um, there is a sense of togetherness. There is a sense of all of us. <laughs> it's the world. Suddenly, we're feeling the world, um, and it's it's a very nice uh, feeling. It can feel as well a bit uh, frightening because it's big. It's big. We're living a big transition as simple as that so how is it translating for you for yourself inside uh, i really invite you to um stop being uh, inspired and influenced by whatever you're reading online and the outside right now if you're in quarantine this is the perfect time because you're inside you're inside your home so your physical is very set the physical boundaries are set and you can really work on your own uh, boundaries with yourself so um yeah the boundaries <laughs> It's always very funny because I have ideas of what I want to talk about because uh, I'm feeling it too. And then when I start talking to you, it comes out its own new way. Um, so setting your boundaries is very important and setting your boundaries, uh, especially now, because you have this time to be with yourself. It's setting the boundaries with yourself, within yourself. And remember that you are an energetic body. We are energy and right now you feel it it's an energy wave coming through us you know the virus is an expression of this energy wave um so how is it feeling inside of you all this energy happening and how to set your own energetic boundaries so first is your knowledge that you're an energy being which means your boundaries are not only the physical because when we think boundaries, we may think what's tangible, like the, the house boundaries, physical boundaries. No, think you have this layer of energy around you. And it's this energy um, that is in materiality, this energy, we can see a physical body, but the energy is way more than what you can see. It's what you can feel. And there's also all the thinking, the boundaries in your own psyche, in your own mind. And this is very important to work on. What are your thoughts? Where are your thoughts projecting? This is what you need to address right now. Go in, go in here, go up there. And go check out what's happening because we have the tendency when we're boiling up emotionally we have this tendency to project out to project our fears to project our anger to project our um, discontentment to project our uncomfortability our unease everything is coming out so observe what's coming out and, and take it in <laughs> take it back in and deal with that with yourself set your own mental boundaries and your own energetic boundaries and for that i invite you to take a moment to feel yourself and to see yourself as an energetic being just by acknowledging it it will strengthen you and work on your mind focus your thoughts on here and now because we're living in abundance we're living in a world of infinite possibilities and just what's happening now 
is showing us it's a proof <laughs> that everything is possible and the unknown is always surprising. We never know what can happen. And we don't know what's going to happen after. We never know what's going to happen after. But right now, it's worldwide. It's very obvious that the unknown is unknown. <laughs> and it's kind of awesome because it really helps us to put ourselves back into our center. And I really appreciate what's happening now it's very uh, it's very cool it's very challenging because uh, it's me with myself facing myself yeah <laughs> and all this up and down is really challenging because it's really asking us to accept whatever is happening and to self care your discipline is very important here because your discipline is creating your own, your own space your own freedom it has to do with the boundaries discipline um, is setting your own boundaries and it's it's it has to do with freedom is we taking the scale of dualities is balance uh, there's no one without the other so your freedom is creating is created by your discipline by yourself um let's say it better no no blah, 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 blah. because sometimes that happens <laughs> so we have the scale the balance how to create the balance so we have freedom we have boundaries and the discipline is what the center of that is the discipline with when you create your discipline you you set your own freedom space and um it has to do with your boundaries i hope that's clear it's all the same just with different points of views um so boundaries are actually prepared today because we're all coming into the new <laughs> thank you for reminding me that we're all coming into the new and the new is very unknown the unknown is actually the darkness we don't know what's in the dark unless we shine light in it and the darkness has been seen um very scary the darkness is seen as like uh, what's scary what's violent what's not right what's uh, all this this non non nice stuff is put in the darkness um i do not agree with that at all uh, this is i would say a misunderstanding of what the darkness is because the darkness is inside uh, of you inside of us it's dark and the darkness it's inside the womb the darkness is not scary the darkness is this very um I, that's that's my that's my symbolism for darkness it's uh, comforting it's nourishing and it's unknown so it's surprising and the surprise, uh, it's you huh, to decide how you want to be surprised, um, if you want to expect the way you are surprised. Uh, so here, again, we go back on how you um, project, how you project into this unknown. Because we're going to come out of this situation at some point, and the question is like, how do you want, on, you want to come out of here? And it's not thinking about how the situation may be it's about thinking how you want to be when you're coming out you know how you want to feel with yourself what do you want to show about yourself and you have this time now at home with way less social pressure to really assess that to really go in and feel yourself and strengthen your energy field as well because this is a big part of um of our social lives, this energetic field. And right now you're with yourself at home and with your close family. For some of you or friends, like you have a few people around, but you've been with them nonstop <laughs> now for some weeks. So it's very interesting as well to observe how um, in the space, in the energetic space, how everyone is invading the other one's space or not. Boundaries again, this energetic boundaries. So the big word is it boundaries apparently. So we're all stepping into the new, into the unknown. We're all going to come out new because this is a new situation. This is a big transition. So we're going to come out into someone we don't know yet and we're discovering at every step. Um, so an example of what I mean, it's like, for example, you're at the beginning of the month, or you're the first of the month, you don't know how it's going to be by the 30s. But you will know the 30s because you stepped every step day by day. And you allowed it to just happen. And by the end of the month, you can look back and like, uh -huh. <laughs> now I know better. <laughs> I learned the lessons. Um, so we're stepping into something new. So go step by step with yourself. Allow yourself to just discover what's coming out of you. Discover what you want for yourself and really allow it to express itself. Really uh, allow yourself to, to express how, how you feel. And for that, you need to know how you feel. <laughs> 
and to put the words you want into how you feel because we have this tendency we're talking about projection but projection work both ways it works as well coming in the inspiration what do you surround yourself with you know how and it's not the physicality i'm talking i'm talking about your head i'm talking about your thoughts and your mind what's going around here what are you watching what are you reading what are you listening to what are you taking it as your own and it's not your own so i really invite you to take this space with yourself to really reassess who you are inside and how you feel and put your own words to, to, to create your own story about yourself. I'm going to cough. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> so as we're all stepping into the new Me Too and I kind of prepared what I wanted to talk about. Wow! So let's try something new step by step. So let me check. I think I've talked about everything. Ah, there's one thing. So I want to talk about abundance and I want to talk about how um, the way you're thinking your thought and your mind um, are creating uh, your reality, your outside reality. So I really want you to observe uh, what's happening because you've been now uh, many weeks inside. You've been um, in a new uh, space with yourself. So um, it's not that you're not free. Maybe you're not allowed to go outside, but it has nothing to do with your own freedom because your own freedom is you with yourself and your own space and your own boundaries. And I really invite you to observe what you're thinking about because if you're thinking about what you're missing, if you're thinking about um, another place you'd like to be and you're not, you don't want to be here, you know, if you're thinking about other realities that are not right here, right now, your reality, you're creating a sense of scarcity, you're creating a sense of non-abundance. So really accept your situation and whatever you're dreaming about and want to do, make it happen here and now, you know. So maybe you're in the hills and you can't go to the beach and you want to go to the beach. Obviously, no. But what would you do in the, on the beach? Make it happen at home. That's a very simple example, but that's exactly what's happening. So don't create this sense of scarcity with you. You need to, because when you create this sense of scarcity, it's like you taking parts of yourself that you accept and other parts that you're like, no, no. And you create a separation. And, and, and it's important to be in your whole, your whole being. Because if you're coming out, why not coming out as your whole, you know? <laughs> so your whole, it's all your parts together. And it's really accepting the abundance with what you have here and now. We were talking about that in the video last week. Assess what you have mentally, physically, your awesome human body, and do with that. Everything you're projecting in your thinking, uh, bring it back here and now. And if it's not possible to do it here and now, say thank you, great thought. No, out. Set your boundaries. Focus, 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 focus. Um, I want to talk about self-care. Because as the energies are intense, I was saying at the beginning, maybe some of you are feeling a bit... Uh, all over the place or in and out or very tired or very energetic like it's just moving it's a lot of movement emotionally uh, what's happening it, it feels like we're all coming into a new sensitivity and we are <laughs> because it's a big transition so we're opening up to something new and these new feelings coming um, through us a new sensitivity maybe um, blossoming with yourself this you know a, a, later <laughs> just let it happen <laughs> so your self-care is very important your discipline is very important and self-care is accepting how you feel now and doing it for for what it is now um, and your discipline is very important remember at the beginning of the year you wanted maybe to set a new discipline for yourself and new boundaries with yourself remember that and go go back on that if you let it a bit if you loosen up a bit on it, your discipline is, is we said, it's your freedom, it's your boundaries, it's all of it. Your discipline is extremely important to keep, um, to keep sane. <laughs> if I can say it this way, to keep sane. Um, yes, address everything because right now you're at home with yourself and be aware that you're the only one responsible for your own health. Um, no one else is responsible for your health. You are. Because now we're talking about a virus. 
very interestingly, because people may feel it's a threat. It's not a threat. Be responsible for your own health. Strengthen your own immune system. Address everything that's coming up in your body. We may have this tendency sometimes... <laughs> I've been facing myself with that, um, to, to make comfortable some things that was not comfortable. For example, you have an unease in your body or you have some things that's happening with your body that's not so comfortable and you just accept it how it is and you keep going on with it without really addressing it. So it kind of accumulates, but it's kind of not being seen. Um, and right now it wants to come out. You want to come out as one whole so all these little parts of you that you've been putting on the side or you've been accepting an unease, um, well, you can, you can change that and make it comfortable for yourself. You, you can be a whole comfortable for yourself. Um, so address that. This is a perfect time now. And learn. Learn. I'm like, internet is fantastic for that. You're home, you have internet, you have books, you have people around you just... Just chat, just research, research your own health. You have a pain somewhere, research, research plenty, plenty of point of view and perspective. The internet is amazing for that. Make your own mind, make your own story and, and experience your own self inspired by many, 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 many point of views, especially when we talk about health. There is so many countries, so many traditions, yet you have so many possibilities. It's infinite, it's abundant uh, to research, to study, and then to apply to yourself and to adapt and to see. Uh, play the game of health. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very cool, actually, to observe how it can change and stuff. Don't put any thoughts of, oh, it might be right. Oh, I like, I don't like. It's not about that. It's your body with your body. Allow your body to talk. When I say go in and feel your feeling, allow your body to talk to you and listen to it. Let it happen. It's a big detox after all. When we come out new, there is a lot of old being released. So observe that. Let it out. Bring the new in. And the new is also trying new things. Bring it new. You know, you bring it as well towards you. So open yourself to new things. And um, try it out. Try it out. Don't say no before you try. You don't know until you actually experienced it, which is very cool. We're living a very cool time. Um, and keep going with yourself. Keep listening to yourself. If you're one of those that are very moody and very tired and very all of like not really understanding what's happening, it's normal. We are in the unknown. Just keep caring. Keep caring. Keep caring. Sleep when you're tired and eat when you're hungry. Yes. And remember to breathe with your full lungs open and to take the time to be in silence every day. This is part of the very magical discipline of the magic unicorn. Well, I think I've said enough. <laughs> Thank you for receiving me. Thank you for listening to this message. Um, part of the new, I actually wrote down a lot of the things as well in the article. You find it under the link to this video on my uh, website um, because I wanted to try that out. You have a video message and then you're going to have a written message. And uh, so it's coming from different um, senses. And uh, yeah, I wanted to try that out. So here I am stepping step by step cautiously into something new. And we'll see what happens later. Um, and the last word is we are starting a new beginning. And I will talk more about that next week. The sun is coming into Taurus. So I really invite you to observe the last month since last equinox. Uh, what happened and reassess that. It's always nice when we change cycles to observe uh, the last cycle and learn the lesson. So we're coming... Um, stronger and bigger and more knowledgeable into the new cycle and this week we have a new moon as well so it's good to look back at the last new moon as well it's like a double new beginning it's awesome well um i love you and uh, chat soon ciao